Afternoon everyone, my name's Heath Reed from Space Habitat Permaculture Design and Education. And this afternoon I'm going to be talking about pigeon pea, which is a very important permaculture plant that can be used in any sort of garden situation. The reason is, the pigeon pea comes from the pea family, which means it grows peas, obviously, but it is also a legume. Because it is a legume, it is a nitrogen-fixing species. Now the reason it's a nitrogen-fixing species is because of all these little nodules on the root system. See them? Little white balls around the place. Now that's a type of fungi. It's called rhizobia. And it attaches itself to the root system of the plant and it fixes nitrogen out of the atmosphere and feeds the plant with it. In return, the plant photosynthesizes, creates sugars and feeds the rhizobia. So we have a symbiotic relationship going quite important. Now, because of the rhizobia fixing nitrogen from the atmosphere, it doesn't require any nitrogen in the soil already because it increases the nitrogen levels in the soil via the atmosphere. Most plants require soil-borne nitrogen. Legumes get it from the atmosphere via rhizobia. Now this is quite incredible because these plants will also share the nitrogen with plants around it. So not only is the rhizobia on the root system supporting the own plant, it's also sharing it around the other plants too. Now with pigeon pea, in a permaculture setting, it has several functions. It functions as a fast-growing pioneering species that also injects nitrogen into the soil via its rhizobia. It also grows very quickly, which means you can chop and drop it into a form of mulch and compost. You can grow it quick as a screening tool or tool plant. You can use it to shade things. Uh, it's great animal fodder. If you have livestock or even chickens, you chop it all up and they love it. And then it comes to the peas that grow on these plants. They're used in split dal, which is one of the most popular dishes in the world. Most of the Indian subcontinent eats pigeon pea. It's gone through Central America and through the Caribbean, into Africa, Asia, everywhere now. It's been domesticated for three and a half thousand years. So this important crop that does multiple things for you is an incredible addition to any garden. I suggest you get some pigeon pea because they're a great plant and they're easy to grow. They're disease resistant, they're drought resistant, they don't take a lot of water, they can grow in a lot of different types of soils and they're fast growing, you get food from them and they're quite fun to be around. They have nice little pea flowers too. So you get yourself some pigeon pea. I have some out the front of my house actually. If you want some, Give me a private message and I'll let you know when you can come and collect them. I am in Brisbane by the way, if you have to travel far, don't worry, there are pigeon peas elsewhere. My name's Heath, thank you very much again, please like and subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be making some more cool videos including a lot of mycology videos, so uh, thank you very much, ciao.